Hey guys, this is Sauce Aurelian here, and I'm going to be showing you today how to style and straighten a long haired Victor wig. Um, I got this wig from He Hair, um, and I'm going to link everything below. And so, what I'm going to start off by doing is brushing out the wig. Um, it, it does come curly, but that's okay because we can easily straighten it. Um, so once I brush out the curls, I'm going to take argan oil and I'm going to basically just rub it into the hair and this will keep it um, protected from the heat whenever we straighten it. Just remember that whenever you are flat, flat ironing the wig, you want to make sure that it's at a fairly low heat so you don't burn the wig because I accidentally almost did that. So I kind of use my knees as a prop and then I just pin the wig into the wig head and then straighten the pieces and then flip them to the other side. Um, I sped up the video just because you kind of understand what I'm doing. It's not too difficult. Just make sure you don't take too much hair whenever you're straightening it because otherwise um, it won't the curls will stay and it just takes forever so a little bit of hair at a time it does take a while this took me about an hour to do all together so I didn't record the whole process obviously but um, it is very easy to flat iron and it, it'll look great um, to find this wig you can go to the gray synthetic wigs um, it's a lace front so when you go to hehair.com, just go to the gray lace fronts and wigs. And like I said, I'm going to link it down below so you can find the wig. It's a really good price and definitely worth it. Okay, so now once it's all straightened and completely beautiful, um, I'm just showing you as I brush through it. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to silicone spray it. Um, whenever you silicone spray a wig um, with WD, uh, WD-40 silicone spray, which I got off eBay, um, this will keep it from getting tangled because it's a long haired wig and so they will get tangled quite easily. So to avoid that, you can spray them with WD-40. Just remember that you need to do this right out after you get it out of the package. If it already gets tangled, and you wear it around, it's not going to be the same. So make sure it's right when you get it out of the package. Then taking my wig brush again, I'm going to comb the silicone spray through the wig. And it'll give it kind of a glossy shine to it as well. And then you're going to repeat the, the same process, but do it on the inside of the wig. So make sure you get all the way to the, the cap of the wig and then you brush it from the inside and as you can see it's windy outside and yet I can still easily brush through it so this is this is good stuff I'm just making sure it's all through each part of the hair because you don't want to miss any so once you're done as you can see you can shake it throw it around do a backflip, I don't know, um, and it stays completely detangled. It's amazing. And it smells kind of like fishing equipment, but oh well. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to put on my, now I'm, I'm going to put on my wig caps, and I, I do wear two of them, mostly because I'm always afraid that one might fall off, so I wear two. It's just my thing that I do. I'm weird. And then once I put those on, um, I'm going to take the wig, which does have three convenient clips on the inside. So you want to first do the clip on your forehead. Um, basically, put it back in a place. You want to put it up quite, uh, quite forward on your forehead so that when you yank back on it, um, you'll have room for it to move um, on your forehead and look more natural. So as you see, I adjusted it because I it was too forward, so I looked really unnatural. But you can get it 
place on your forehead and therefore it won't fall off or show your um, your hair underneath. I also shaved my sideburns so I don't have any. Um, so for this next part, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to use this spirit gum and I am going to glue down the sides of the wig. Since I don't have sideburns, it's going to be easier for me than it probably would be for you because with the convenience of not having sideburns, it means that I can glue it to where my sideburns would have been and it won't hurt when I take it off. Um, I also got this, this um, spirit gum on eBay as well. It's amazing. So basically you glue down the sides, you can use a blow dryer if you want it to go faster, and then voila, it's glued down and I can scoop it behind my ears, put it in a ponytail if I wish, um, take it out of the ponytail if I wish, and I just love it because I can shake it, throw it, do whatever, and it, it stays very straight and detangled. Um, I actually like that it has a shine to it, which by the way, that will fade. I know you might think it looks a little oily, but to me, it just looks sh more shiny, which I think looks nice. Um, and the shine will go away after a few times of you wearing it. Cause usually you're supposed to wait like overnight before you wear it, the wig, but I just put it on immediately after spraying it. So that's why it kind of looks a little bit shiny, but yeah. That is the wig tutorial. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope it's helpful and that you can cosplay Victor as well. Um, and if you like this video, we will try to make some more um, brother wigs. I just thought that this would be very helpful for anyone cosplaying long haired characters and especially Victor because of course long haired Victor is just so beautiful. Anyway, thank you guys, and um, I will be uploading some more videos. Me and Leah have some videos coming up soon, so look forward to that. Okay, thank you guys. Bye-bye.